students welcome to this video of polynomials in the last video we learned to recognize polynomials and also discussed classification of polynomials based on the number of terms and the highest power of variable today we will learn to solve few questions based on those topics and will enhance our knowledge on the polynomials so let us start the first question which of these expressions are polynomials and classify them based on the number of terms and the highest power of the variable to answer the question you can pause the video the first expression x to the power of 3 plus 3 to the square root of 5 has only a single variable x whose highest power is 3 and there are two terms x to the power of 3 and 3 to the square root of 5 This means it is a cubic binomial in one variable. In the second expression, minus 3t square plus 2 square root of t minus 1 by 4, there is only one variable t whose highest power is 2. But if we see the second term square root of t, its power is not a whole number. Here, the power of t is 1 by 2 means this expression is not a polynomial the third expression is very simple it is a constant polynomial with power 0 now let's solve another question you have to write the coefficient of x square in the given polynomials such questions are quite easy just that we have to focus on x square and have to write its coefficient in the first question, square root of 2x square minus 3x plus 9. What is the coefficient of x square? We can directly say square root of 2 is the answer. Now, let's go ahead and see the expression x plus 2x to the power of 3 minus 5 by 4. Here, x square is not present in the equation. Now, how to find its coefficient? This expression can also be written like this where the coefficient of x square is 0 and hence this complete term is 0. In an expression of polynomial, if the x square term is not present, then its coefficient will be 0. The next polynomial is x square minus 7. Will the answer be 0 in this case also? No. If x to the power of 2 has no coefficient, its coefficient is taken as 1 because on multiplying any term with 1, we get the same term. Let's see our next question. Here, we will have to write an example of a trinomial in which the highest power of the variable is 15. The answer to this could be as follows. x to the power of 15 plus x to the power of any whole number other than 0 and less than 15 plus any number other than 0. Here, you can also write the coefficient of x to the power of 15 which can be any number other than 0. Got it? Before we end, here's a question that you have to solve yourself. Write an example of a binomial in which the highest power of the variable is 145. So friends, in today's video, we learned to recognize the polynomials and also learned to solve a few questions based on their types. In the next video, we learn few similar concepts. Thank you.